Support for Woodsong Show number 1004 is provided by Martin Guitars, Travel Host Magazine, and by our family of Woodsong's partners. Woodsong's is now available for use by teachers and homeschool families, complete with lesson plans. Available on the classroom page of woodsongs.com. The city of Lexington and visit lex.com. The Bluegrass Hospitality Association and the Holiday Inn Express, welcoming visitors to Lexington, Kentucky, the horse capital of the world and home for parks, museums, festivals, great music, and wood songs. Take your next vacation trip to the musical State of Kentucky. For information, visit our website at woodsongs.com. Here on the Louisiana Hayride, his name is Hank Williams, the drifting cowboy. <laughs> on the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. <laughs> Hi, this is Amy Lou Harris. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer Michael Jonathan. It's time for me to say farewell. Well, goodbye, old friend. So long, it's been real swell. I'm on my way So don't you bother me And if I come back You might see a brand new me Man, I told you once And I begged you twice I don't yell at me you gotta talk to me real nice Your attitude ain't nothing new So I hit the road just to get away from you I don't believe a single word you say And all you do Complain constantly Don't waste my time With your petty misery You mound the blues On your couch with your big Twinkie So stuff your face It don't bother me I'm moving on So I can find a brand new me yeah i hit the road searching for a brand new me The Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by our family of Wood Songs partners and by VisitLex.com, an online vacation guide to visit historic Lexington, Kentucky. While in Kentucky, you can visit the cafes, horse parks, music festivals, art, and cultural world of Lexington. The home of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, online at VisitLex.com. And by the Martin Guitar Company of Nazareth, Pennsylvania, building handcrafted guitars for professionals and front porch pickers since 1833. Online at martinguitars.com. And welcome everybody to the, yeah, to the beautiful and historic Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're broadcasting all over the world, from Australia to Ireland, New Zealand to New York, Yuma, Arizona to the Yukon in northern Canada. We treat our broadcast like a multimedia front porch, and you're our neighbors that we've invited over for an evening of some really, really great music. Artists come from everywhere to be on our stage. You don't have to be famous to be on Wood Songs. You just have to be very, very 
Good. We've got two wonderful artists, a great band, a great individual artist to introduce you tonight. A wonderful team of wood songs, kids as well, so let's get started. They've got a brand new album called I Hear Bluegrass Calling Me. They're from North Carolina. It's a great band called Carolina Blue on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> CD, I hear bluegrass calling me. It's Carolina Blue. Let's say hi to the mandolin player, Mr. Timmy Jones. How you doing, Timmy? Howdy, howdy. Thank y'all for having us. Sure. So let's uh, let's talk about you now. Your your grandfather had a big influence in your playing and your choosing bluegrass music, right? Yes, sir. He sure did. He taught me a lot about uh, music from an early age. He picked a banjo and a guitar, and that's the first influence I ever had. And what, what, was it, what was the earliest memory of your granddad? I mean, it's such an important thing, having family members introducing music to their, to their yes, grandkids, sir. right? Probably the earliest memory was, I couldn't have been more than about three or four. Just That's my earliest memory, just sitting on the porch and listening to him play, pretty much. And it's a, it's a kind of a warm memory, isn't it? It is. It really is. And standing next to you is Mr. Bobby Powell playing guitar. Hi there. You, you didn't start as, a, as young as Timmy. You were more like a, a, later on in your teenage years before you started really taking music seriously, right? Now that's right. I was 18 years old, and I developed a really a love for bluegrass music and decided when I graduated that I'd take the money that I got as gifts and buy a guitar and learn how to play it, so I did. Yeah, and, and was that an easy thing for you to learn? I mean, you're a fine player now, but uh, you're not 18. Well, I... <laughs> I don't know. It, it came pretty quickly. I bought a book that had all the chords in it and yeah. what they call a bluegrass fake book that had songs like Rocky Top that had the chord changes. So I started learning how to make those, and I think I joined a gospel quartet about three months later. Mm -hmm. And See, that's where I met Tim. And so you guys have been uh, you know, performing uh, music mates for quite a, quite a while. Uh, this year marks 23 years. 23 years. That's, that's longer than most third world nations last these days, right? Longer than two of my marriages. <laughs> 
I am so not going there. Behind you in a, <laughs> is an award-winning fiddle player. Let's say hi to Ainsley Porchek. Hi, everyone. So you're, you're a grandmaster fiddle champion in, in, in two nations, not just one nation. You're two nations you won this thing. I don't know. I'm just, just blessed, I guess. <laughs> so, so were you, uh, were you a, a young pup when you started playing the fiddle? Was, the, was, the, was it a classical violin that you started with? No, I started with the fiddle. Mm -hmm. I was determined from a young age that I was going to play fiddle and not violin. So I started when I was nine, and well, I'm 25 now. <laughs> So, so that sounds confusing to some folks that may not be familiar, because it's the same instrument, right? The same instrument, but the difference between playing violin and playing fiddle is? Well, technically, it's the type of music you play. If you play Bach and Beethoven and Vivaldi, that's violin, and if you play this, it's fiddle. But I've also heard it told that a violin sings and a fiddle dances, or a violin has strings and a fiddle has strangs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I think I think another part, Ainsley, is that is that uh, you know the violin uh, folks that learn the violin are performing from a chart, where playing the fiddle you're playing from your heart. You're playing the part you feel, not the part that's written down. Correct. Very true. That's that's what happens with me. I play whatever's in there at that particular time. And so, how does one learn that? Let's say they've learned the violin and they are beholden to the chart. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an interpretive, it's an interpretive music, sure. playing violin. And, and, but what you're doing with the fiddle is an expressive. You're not interpreting, you're creating your own expression. Very true, and that's the cool thing about it. Everybody comes from different musical backgrounds. I come from one that's steeped more in uh, traditional Canadian and Celtic fiddling because I was Canadian, so it lends a slightly different cadence to your playing, and it's, it really is individualistic that way. Well, let's go ahead and listen to more of their music. They got a wonderful CD called I Hear Bluegrass Calling Me. This is a tune called Longing From Home. From that album, it is Carolina Blue on the Wood Songs, old time radio album. <laughs> You know I 
I can still hear her voice in my memory. I can see her on the back porch breaking beans. I still hear her call out my name by her bedside. From a wonderful CD called I Hear Bluegrass Calling Me, gathered around that one mic, the old time style, singing the praises of rural America. It's a song called Longing for Home from their album Carolina Blue on our broadcast. If you want to revisit the music of Carolina Blue and you visit the Wood Songs website, you can click on the archive page. And if you go to show number 104, you can revisit Carolina Blue. As you hear them on the radio, you can watch them uh, perform this wonderful music, as well as our next artist who uh, comes to us. She is a brilliant uh, singer-songwriter, a guitar player. You're going to hear elements of uh, Leo Kotke and Michael Hedges in her guitar style. Beautiful voice. She's got an album called Slow Motion Philosophies. This is a tune called Undefied Lines. Please welcome Jesse Clement to the Wood Songs. <laughs> Old Time Radio. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow. Slow Motion Philosophies is the name of her record. Jesse Clement, nice to have you here. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Tennessee girl. Absolutely. Grown and raised there? Yes. I uh, in a little town called Lafayette, which is like an hour outside of Nashville, so good place to grow up. And uh, who was your influence for the guitar when you were, you were little? Because you kind of started on the ukulele, didn't you? I did. I did. When I was about nine, I bought my first ukulele. And then, uh, actually, recently I found out that I'm not as Italian as I thought I was, so the excuse doesn't hold anymore. I used to say that I was Italian, and so I liked to make noise. And four strings wasn't enough, so I upgraded. But, right. um, well, I'm only 1.6% Italian now, I just found out, which is, you know, whatever. I still like to make noise. Right. But, um, yeah, so my biggest influence was, like, Andy McKee, Tommy Emanuel. Wow. Like, that's, that's my heart. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's talk about your guitar style. I mean, so we, 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 you got your ukulele. I read that you like wrote your first song in the car as you were coming home. Is that, so music was, was something that you were 1.6 Italian or not. You, <laughs> you really loved it, right? You, Absolutely, yeah. And so, and so you decided to pick up the, uh, the guitar. Were you listening to, to Leo and Michael Hedges and Tommy Emanuel, Andy McKee, these guys at first, or this come to you later on? Um, I, I picked up, well, the first song I really learned how to play was Blackbird, obviously. Paul McCartney. Because that's the one that you learn. Right. Um, and then as I realized the kind of sound that I wanted to capture and create, I gravitated more towards the people that played guitar. Because mm -hmm. um, uh, a lot of my other influences don't necessarily, like my writing influences don't necessarily... Um, play the instrument aside from James Taylor, right. the master, the master right. himself. Yes. Um, and so I realized that I wanted to incorporate an actual instrumental thing in, along with what I was writing. Now, now t folks like Tommy Emanuel, Leo Kotke, Andy McKee, Le Leo Kotke, um, they have a very percussive style to their guitar playing. Their right hand is, yes. is also the percussive beat while they're finger picking. You're, you're doing a similar thing. Mm -hmm. So is that a hard thing to learn? Because you're also doing, with your left hand, you're playing a lot of harmonics while you're playing. Yes. So it's a complicated kind of a texture. I liked being able to essentially be a one-woman band. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, uh, well, it's cheaper. It is. It's a lot, it's a lot less it expensive. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I'd just cover the electric and the percussion. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but, yeah, so. But, but now, that, was that a difficult thing for you to, to learn? Were you taught that, or did you just sit in front of uh, YouTube and watch these guys' fingers playing over and over again? I just knew what I wanted to hear, uh, and they were very much influential in how I, um, I developed my sound, but I knew what I wanted to be able to accomplish, and so I had a mission. And uh, with that last song, Undefined Lines in particular, that whole song started because I heard the da, 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 like in my brain, and I was like, how am I gonna make this work with an acoustic? Mm -hmm. And then I created it based on like the rhythmic Well, you thing. did a good job. I mean, that was a beautifully played. <laughs> very beautifully played. Thank you so much. So Slow Motion Philosophies is the album. We're going to talk more about it in the second half hour, the concept and the feeling and the emotion behind it, which there's a story there as well. But you're going to get into a song, uh, Palace of Pride. What, what is the song about? Ooh. <laughs> Give me the Cliff Notes version. Man. Or should we just go ahead and listen to it? Um, Cliff Notes version. I got my heart broke. He had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you're a guy, duck. Palace of Pride is the song. Jesse Clement is on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> just another day like any day. Just another blue sky hanging free. You probably think you live life better when you're without me. I think you better get this straight. To drop you on a dime and find my way So what do you think that says about you? Personally, I think you're a fool Cause first 
Beautiful guitar and voice of Jesse Clement on our broadcast from her CD, Slow Motion Philosophies. We're going to get back to the music of Jesse in the second half hour. We've got a wonderful rural bluegrass band called Carolina Blue on our show. We're going to feature their music in the second half hour as well. And wait till you meet this week's Woodsongs Kid. We will be back right after this. You're listening to Woodsong Show number 1004, broadcasting around the world from the foothills of Appalachia in Lexington, Kentucky. If you would like to attend a Woodsongs broadcast, you can find reservation and sh show schedules on our website, woodsongs.com. We'll be back after the break with Carolina Blue and Jesse Clement on the Woodsongs Old Time Radio Hour. Songs is presented in part by the Martin Guitar Company and VisitLex.com, welcoming families from all over the world to attend a broadcast in historic Lexington, Kentucky. Wood Songs is an all-volunteer-run celebration of grassroots music, providing a multimedia front porch for musicians and artists worldwide. You can visit our library past shows, attend a broadcast, or become a Wood Songs partner from our website, WoodSongs.com. Hi, this is Leo Kotke, and you're listening to Michael Jonathan, Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour. And thank you, Leo Kotke. There's a great guitar player. Welcome, everybody, back to our broadcast here at the Historic Lyric Theater in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're at the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music, the gateway city to the magnificent Appalachian Mountains. We're on over 537 radio stations around the world, from Australia to Ireland, like WSIU 91.9 FM in Carbondale. Uh, we're also on the air in New Zealand, Australia, KXJCJ uh, FM in Cave Junction, Oregon, WNBI in Buffalo, New York. Let's say hello to all the audiences out there. We love it. We're also on American Forces Radio Network. It puts this show 
on the air, two channels in 177 nations from South Korea all the way to Kuwait, around the world, every single military base in the world, every U.S. naval ship in the world, every Coast Guard vessel sailing in North America gets to hear this show. And as always, we want to say hi to the men and women out there that are... Yep. The families, friends, the fans, we get a lot of email from the public that gets to, to hear them around the world. We're on public television, coast to coast, RFD television nationwide. We're also in schools. If you're a teacher or a homeschool uh, parent, if you visit the Woodsongs website, there's a button there that says Classroom. If you click on that, you're going to see an amazing array of Woodsongs broadcasts with lesson plans attached for middle, high, college level cl uh, classes. So you can use Woodsongs as an introduction to this rural music front porch that we're broadcasting worldwide and get kids involved in this wonderful uh, uh, passionate world of music and because of that this time every show uh, every broadcast we invite kids from somewhere in North America to come on our broadcast they get to sing one song in the presence of seasoned touring artists like uh, Jesse Clement Carolina Blue and all the way from Tennessee let's say hello to the Roberts sisters how you doing <laughs> So we have uh, Ayana, did I say that right? Yes, sir. Ayana and Anaya. Yes. Right, okay, so, and you're both 13. Yes. And you're twins. Yes. And you look like you're dressed the same, so you must be twins, <laughs> right? And, and the Robert sisters, you're sort of a family band? Um, yeah. And so what kind of music do you love to play? Um, we do a lot of gospel music, mm -hmm. and we do some country music mm -hmm. as well. And when you sit home uh, on your couch, instead, instead of watching TV, you sing together? You never watch TV, right? <laughs> we sing a lot together, and we watch some TV. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but uh, music is very important to you. And I have to give props to your dad. Your dad is a Vietnam vet. He uh, struggles with Agent Orange, and he's a, he's a big supporter of you, making sure that you guys are taken care of. Yes, we're very thankful for him. <laughs> So isn't it nice having parents that get behind you and really support your, your dream to, to do things like singing, yeah. right? So you're going to do us a, a very special song that was written in 1779 that uh, uh, most people around the world know, but you're going to do it the Roberts Sisters way. Is that right? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, let's check it out. It's a beautiful song. It's the Roberts Sisters performing Amazing Grace, Wood Songs, Kids. <laughs> Sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught.
It's the Roberts Sisters. This week's Wood Songs Kids. Let's give some props to uh, Timothy on keyboards, Benjamin on guitar, Colleen playing bass with the Roberts Sisters. Oh, we love our Wood Songs kids. If you've got a youngster that you think belongs on our broadcast, we want to know about it. You could uh, simply uh, go to the Wood Songs website. There's a kids button, and all the contact information is right there. We want to hear from these Wood Songs kids because we want children to be part of this musical front porch that we're broadcasting around the world. And they certainly sing about it. That's the core of their music. They're going to sing a song called Rusty Nails. Let's welcome them back. It's Carolina Blue on the Wood Songs. Old time radio. Rusty rail, don't you know my heart is broken today? In a million ways, the whistle's blowing. Old number nine is carrying me away, and I just can't stay. The past that's haunting me At night I close my eyes And her face is all I see So rusty rail Please help me set her free Far away To a place that I can call home No matter where Just so that I am long gone And I'll ride along These rusty rails As long as Rusty Rails, I Hear Bluegrass Calling Me is the name of the album, Carolina Blue. Let's talk, uh, let's uh, invite the uh, often married guitar player Bobby Powell back to the stage. <laughs> so <laughs> so how, how, does, how did the band come together? Well, uh, Tim and I were working for another North Carolinian named Roy Chapman and his band back in the early 2000s. And uh, we've got a good friend from our hometown named Woody Platt who plays guitar for the Steve yeah. Canyon Rangers. Yeah. Um, Woody encouraged us to do a, an, a recording project, and we did it just for fun. And I released that in 2007. It uh, started playing some on regional radio, and our phone started ringing. They wanted us to come do some shows, and we didn't have a band. So we formed this band kind of out of necessity. To How on earth do you end up with a two-time world champion Ainsley Porchak from Canada in your band? <laughs> 
this is uh, where social media comes in to the to the picture. We Thank goodness just, for Facebook, right? Right. <laughs> really? We lost our fiddle player, and it, it was probably just we knew we needed to replace him quickly. It was probably, you know, the same week we we lost him. I was at lunch one day, just scrolling through Facebook, and Ainsley was part of the East Tennessee State University Bluegrass Program, and I ran across a video of her and her professor Dan Boner and another student playing close by a song by Bill Monroe and they were doing mm -hmm. triple fiddles on it which is right up our style. And I uh, sent Tim and his wife Lakin a message and said this is the type of fiddler that Carolina Blue needs. Right. Lakin got on Facebook, looked her up and we had her two days later. And there you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Good for you. <laughs> playing banjo, Mr. James McDowell. Uh, you started uh, picking when you were what, about 12 or 13 years old? I was 13. I started on guitar. Yeah, and who was it? Was like a, J, uh, a, a J.D. Crow type style that you were into? What, 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 you, what was your big push? Uh, Don Reno is actually oh. my hero. Okay. I, I love to hear the Reno style banjo. You're going to the classics there. And behind you is a wonderful bass player. Let's add Mr. Reese Combs. Thank you. Appreciate it. So you're here, you're here playing upright bass in a, in a bluegrass band, but you started out as a piano player. Uh, yes, uh, I grew up uh, with a baby grand piano in the house. Uh, Mama was a music major and uh, very great on the piano, mm -hmm. played at uh, church, and uh, just kind of would, uh, when I was five, six years old, you know, hear cartoons or music, uh, really was always attracted to it, and so I'd get on it and, and figure songs out by ear. So the piano yeah. left hand and the upright bass, you're sort of playing similar uh, notes, aren't you? Sure, sure. So I guess one helped the other, didn't it? Yes, sir. And then when that doesn't work out, you can always go out on the golf course and make believe you're Tiger Woods, right? Yeah, that's right. You're a big golfer, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I really enjoy that. Yeah, I play by the Willie Nelson rules. Whoever loses the least amount of balls wins. There you go. That's how that works. <laughs> that works pretty good. Yeah. Let's get back into the music. I hear Bluegrass Calling Me is the uh, set name of the CD. This is the title cut. Check out the banjo player on this. It's Carolina Blue on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour. Kentucky to the heart of Tennessee And then you move on down To the Grand Ole Opry You can hear those fiddles And the Osborn brothers sing Now that's bluegrass calling me
Carolina Blue. It's the title cut from their CD. I hear Bluegrass calling me. If you want to revisit the music of uh, Carolina Blue, if you want to watch them do that, a magical Bluegrass Delma Curry type dance around a single microphone while they're playing, mixing themselves, it's an amazing thing to watch. You can visit the Wood Songs website, click on the archive page. This is show number 1004. You also get to watch the amazing fingerstyle guitar of our next artist. She's going to do a uh, tune called Heartbreak Hero. It's Jesse Clement on the Wood Songs. Old time radio. <laughs> Heartbreak hero. Beautiful guitar playing. Thank so you. let's let's talk about guitar a little bit. Uh, what, uh, light gauge strings? Using lighter gauge strings? Lighter gauge strings. Uh, I typically use a medium. Yeah. Oh, is that what you're using now? I mean, it sounds very... Uh, uh, it's what I grew up playing. This yeah. might actually be light because that's all I have. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, are you in standard tuning? I mean, Tommy Emanuel is big on staying in standard tuning. Do you retune? Or? This guitar is in standard. standard. That one is in some odd creation that so, i So those that just heard you play, you're just the normal standard tuning. You were capable of up one or something like that. Yes. But it's just tuned tuning. normal like a normal guitar would be tuned, right? Mm -hmm. So now uh, let's talk about your album. Okay, this the, the new album. You're about to play the uh, title cut. And uh, I don't know who this guy was. 
Same one. The same one. <laughs> <laughs> so they're one, not that. They're not many. The, but you broke my heart real good. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, that that jerk. <laughs> yeah. We're, Thank we're very, you. We're very very sorry about that. <laughs> so. <laughs> you could tell him from Wood songs. He's an idiot. <laughs> So now, uh, th thankfully, this idiot uh, did Gosh. help inspire a lot of songs, though, because they're mostly on this album, right? <laughs> this is a, this is, are we getting a little too personal here? Goodness. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, goodness. I, I just, I just sound like I'm really mean, and I'm not a really mean person. Yeah, that's not mean. You're, you're not mean. You're, you're, you're just, you're just pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> So yes. with, with, without getting into it, though, you take this, uh, this uh, irritation, this hurt, this emotion, and you turn it into music. Was, it, was yeah. it a long writing process? Did it take a while to calm down and put the axe and the machete away and pick the guitar back up? Mm. Well, um, I actually wrote that guitar part far before I had the words to say. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I think that's just kind of how it goes for me. Oftentimes, I don't have the words to express what's going on in my heart mm -hmm. um, or to begin trying to express what's going on in my heart. But that's the power of music. Right. That's the power of an instrument. And I think that's why I care so much because you can get so much, you can express so much through an instrument. Um, and so I didn't think I was going to write any lyrics to it, but uh, then I found them. I found yeah. them real fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And so you thank him for his inspiration, oh, don't you? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yes. All yeah. the time. If it was not for him, you wouldn't have this new album to say what an idiot he is. It's not all about him. Well, it should be. <laughs> <laughs> not everything is about him. So know? slow motion philosophies, who is yes. it about? <clears throat> slow motion philosophies is actually about me. It's about you. Yeah. All right. Well, um, let's, let's go ahead and hear this very personal song on a beautiful album. It's the title cut of her album called Slow Motion Philosophies, Jesse Clement on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Makes me feel like that. Walking somewhere with direction, but going in circles with no clue. It's funny how life makes it clear like that. Circling now with no sense of who we are. Whoa, they say it's all part. If the truth was in you, all but saying to me, you were young, carry on, don't lose faith, cause sometimes it takes a circle on a, to set me free. We're blinded by memories we hold 
My circles are measures of comfort. I draw the line so that I can let go. Philosophies float in slow motion. We're blinded by memories we hold. But something inside me is wrestling with all that I'm telling myself. And I Wasn't it great having the beautiful voice and guitar of Jesse Clement on our broadcast? From La Follette, Tennessee, the Roberts Sisters, this week's Wood Songs Kids. And from North Carolina, the great bluegrass band Carolina Blue. I think Bill Monroe said it best. He said of this uh, front porch music world that this kind of music has made more friends than any other kind of music in the world. But Walt Whitman reminded us that among these friends, these fellow artists and performers and songwriters and musicians depend on something extremely critical to make this world of music work. You have to have a great song, a great artist, but without the audience, there's nothing. And Walt Whitman said to have great poets, there must be great audiences. You are a great audience for the way you support these wonderful artists and musicians. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I am a song farmer. We'll see you next week on the Woods Song. Old time radio. Good night. You've been listening to Wood Songs broadcast number 1004. Michael's opening song was the Twinkie song from the Legacy album. Our chief engineers, Jerome Galt, technical assistants are Brian Clausing, Brandon Eves, Isaac May, and Eric Anderson. T our TV and internet broadcast directed by Maria Claridge, technical director Isaac May, assisted by Caitlin Farrell. The Wood Songs crew member of the week is David Wormley, and our Wood Songs partner of the week is Gail Leiter. Special support provided by Hybrid Springwater, Nate's Coffee, the staff of the Lyric Theater, and Dupree Catering in Lexington. Our show is produced with the support of VisitLikes.com. The Martin Guitar Company, Travel Host Magazine, the Blue Rass Hospitality Association, and the Holiday Inn Express, welcoming visitors from all over the world to Lexington, Kentucky. Wood Songs and the Wood Song symbol are registered trademarks of Rachel Aubrey Music. Our show is distributed worldwide by the Wood Songs Radio Network and PRX. Thanks for listening. I'm Josh Bayer. For Michael Jonathan and the entire Wood Songs crew, this is Dorothy Edwards. We hope you'll join us again next week for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. <laughs> The online version of Wood Songs is a free gift to our fans, provided by VisitLex.com, inviting fans and families worldwide to attend our live broadcast tapings at the Lyric Theater in historic Lexington, Kentucky. The encore section is next. You can support this massive online archive of shows by becoming a Wood Songs partner. It's as simple as a PayPal click on our website, WoodSongs.com. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Dorothy. And give yourselves a big hand. You were, in fact, a wonderful audience, and we appreciate you very, very much. And I'm going to brag on our, uh, on our amazing, incredible Wood Songs crew. This show got done start to finish in exactly 59 minutes like it's supposed to. 
You guys are awesome. And so we're uh, heading on into uh, 2020 with so many good shows coming up uh, on, on our broadcast. Next week, we've got something really interesting. Uh, two of the most prominent uh, uh, groups in the world of Roots Music, Bill and the Bells, they do this really old-timey, early country kind of a Jimmy Rogers type thing. Uh, they, they're going to return on the Wood Songs. And one of the premier touring bands in Bluegrass, Valerie Smith and Liberty Pike, are going to be on both of them on the stage next week. What they both have in common is very unique. They both run radio stations and Wood Songs is an affiliate of both of those stations. So we're going to have a big conversation about not just bluegrass music and the world of roots music, but what is happening in the world of music. Did you know that the AM radio band is going away? Did you know that? So there's a lot of things we're going to be talking about next week. There's a lot of changes going on in music. Some are not all that interesting to me anyway. So uh, we certainly invite you back for that. Uh, in the weeks to come, yesterday, he won a Grammy for the best bluegrass band in North... Uh, best bluegrass... Let me try that again. I'm still worried about your idiot. <laughs> Stumbling. <laughs> Best Bluegrass Album, he won a Grammy for it. He's going to be on Wood Songs in February. Michael Cleveland is going to be here with his band Flame Keeper. All the more reason in the world, if you're not a Wood Songs partner, become one, because Wood Songs partners come to all these shows for free. They just make a reservation and they just walk on in. Over 44 of them a year. So we certainly want to encourage you to do that. You can do that in the lobby as, you, as uh, the show's over after the encores. The artists did bring their CDs and stuff. They're going to be in the lobby to meet you. So we have some more uh, uh, announcements too, but we're going to uh, go through the music. So let's go in reverse order. Let's start with a Jesse. And then the Robert sisters will do an encore, and then we'll end with uh, with uh, Carolina Blue. Okay, so what do you want to sing for us, Jesse? <laughs> Sounds like you hit the idiot. You just. <laughs> I would just like to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for coming and supporting the arts. Um, as an artist, it means a lot to me um, to have you guys here. Um, so thank you. Uh, a little bit, just, just a tiny bit about this song. Um, this song is called Bigger. And as an artist, as a writer, um, it's a really scary thing to write music sometimes because when you write it, it's going to be heard by people. And sometimes you don't necessarily want people to hear the, hard, the hardest things that you're going through. Um, but I take comfort in the fact that I know that if I'm going through it, somebody else is too. Um, so I hope this song speaks to some of you.
It's like you were channeling Joni Mitchell and Minnie Ripperton at the same time. Beautifully done, beautifully done. And you've got your CDs, you're going to be out in the lobby to say hi to everybody? Okay, great. As soon as we're done. Robert's sisters, you're next, right? So you're going to do a really kind of a very powerful song for us, right? So, so why don't you tell us the name of this song? Um, the name of the song is I Can Only Imagine. Mm -hmm. And that was a really popular song about four or five years ago, wasn't it? This, yes. this means a lot to you guys? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and hear the Robert sisters. I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me I can only imagine I can only imagine surrounded by your glory what will my heart feel for you, Jesus, or in all of you be still, will I stand in your presence, or to my knees will I fall, will I sing hallelujah, will I be able to speak it all, I can only imagine, I can only imagine. Be able to speak. 
I can only imagine. I can only imagine when all I would do is forever, forever worship you. I can only imagine. Colleen, Benjamin, and Timothy backing them up. Robert's sisters. So, uh, Anaya, come here. Come here. Come here. So, no, come here. I know over here. Right over here on this side here. So a couple of uh, quick announcements before we uh, give her a chance to take over the show. <laughs> True our concert series is rocking on on March 7th at the Opera House. Marty Stewart is going to be there with his, with his band and tickets are going really fast for that one. So if you want to see Marty Stewart and his fabulous superlatives, we suggest you, you uh, get, get there early. Um, also coming uh, in May is America's premier blues legend, Buddy Guy, is going to be at the Opera House. And then uh, we announced it on uh, Friday before the weekend, but coming in June, Bruce Hornsby is coming back to the Opera House. Concerts coming up through the end of the year at the Troubadour Concert Series includes Mavis Staples. And look for a double bill. We have the date. We're trying to make sure that it uh, works out paperwork-wise. A double bill of Judy Collins and Arlo Guthrie. So if you want to know about this stuff, we strongly suggest that you uh, get, become part of the Woodsongs a Troubadour email newsletter. You can do it on the Woodsongs website. Just, we, don't, we don't share your email. We don't sell it to anybody. It's exclusively for Woodsongs. You find out who's coming on Woodsongs every week. And you get first notice on the Troubadour concert series when all this stuff is happening. So it's a great way for uh, you to join 30,000 other people to know what's going on with Wood Songs and uh, Troubadour. And uh, we encourage you to do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> because if they had the email newsletter, they would have known that you were going to be here. Right? OK, so come here. Come here. So I'm going to put my hand on your shoulder. Is that OK? Mm -hmm. Your dad's there. He's got a shotgun. Everything's cool. <laughs> Vietnam vet, all right? So. Um, isn't it nice to, to have a, a parents that will drive you hours and hours to come out here to be on Woodsong? Yes. So you should say thank you to your dad. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Did he set you up for this? No. No. But as a dad, I, I may or may not bring you home if you didn't thank me in front of everybody. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So I want you to introduce uh, the next band, okay? So you just repeat after me. Walk, talk in the mic. Say, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Don't you like? Don't you like? My outfit. My outfit? Yeah. <laughs> right? That's cute. Say, please become. Please become. A Woodsongs partner. A Woodsongs partner. So I can come back. So I can come back. There you go. So, <laughs> you know, so repeat after me. So, so get in the microphone. Say, they are amazing. They are amazing. They're incredible. They're incredible. Four of them are good looking. <laughs> All of them are good looking. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt their feelings. No, no, no. You say four is good looking and one is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Four of them are good looking and one of them is absolutely beautiful. You see. <laughs> You're arguing with me as though I don't know what I'm doing. You never know. You never know. <laughs> All right, say please welcome Carolina please Blue. Please welcome Carolina Blue. There you go. Thank you so much. Uh, what an honor it's been for us to be here with you guys at the Wood Songs show. And we'd like to thank you guys for allowing us to be a part of this. And uh, we'd like to close this thing out uh, with a song from our hero, Bill Monroe, since we're in the great state of Kentucky, his home state. God bless y'all. Thank you so much. Hey, the road is rocky, but it won't be rocky long. I say the road is rocky, but it won't be rocky. 